For the second year in a row, the Poe toaster failed to visit the grave of Edgar Allan Poe in Baltimore, suggesting that the unusual decades-old tribute may be over. For years, a mysterious stranger has crept into the cemetery where Poe is buried to leave three roses and a bottle of cognac at the legendary writer's grave. The toaster last visited in 2009, the bicentennial of Poe's birth. People still gathered outside the cemetery gates in the hopes that the Poe toaster visited this year. It's just, it's a tradition that's been going on for such a long time, and I, it, it, I don't want to know who it is, I just like knowing that there's someone that pays tribute to you know, this great American author of ours. Uh, well, we'll wait to see if Poe Toast is going to show up. And do you think he will? Uh, who knows? I think that's part of the fun, is the mystery to see if he actually shows up, and how many imposters actually show up in a given name. At a quarter of five in the morning, Jeff Jerome called it a night and opened the gates to the cemetery to the public. Jerome says he'll wait one more year before declaring the tribute over for good. And if it is, let it have a natural death. My biggest fear is having 50 or 60 Poe wannabes climbing the walls, putting their own tribute on the gravesite. I tell people that if in fact it is over with, let it die a peaceful death. Don't start a new one. Reporting for Arbutus Patch, Bruce Goldfarb.